start by working on my bald cap. First, I comb my hair back, making it flat and even, so that my bald cap will lay perfect on my head. And then, using an eyeliner, I drew on the bald cap and shaped it down with scissors to make it fit well on my head. Using spirit gum, I applied it directly on my skin and held the bald cap tight as I pulled it down over the adhesive. I worked in sections to make sure the bald cap will be even on all sides and for minimal wrinkling. Once it is secured, I applied two to three layers of liquid latex with a Q-tip and applied it on the edge of the bald cap to make it even with my skin. Next is I covered up my left brow using Elmer's glue stick. I tried to make it as flat and even as possible. I did about two to three layers making sure I had it completely dry before adding the next one. A light rubbing of alcohol is the secret to make it really smooth. And then, a little dusting of translucent powder will make it less tacky. It's good to have a reference photo in hand when doing detailed makeup like this. So, I kept on going back to it as I sketched the eyepiece that Nebula had on the left side of her face. I was just using an eyebrow pencil at this point. And then, I covered up the entire piece with white face paint as base. I applied this using a makeup sponge and switched up to a small brush on the small, hard-to-reach areas. After it gets a little bit dry, I paint it over it with a silver face paint. Applying white before this will make it pop more. To make it a little bit more metallic, I set the paint with silver eyeshadow. I just lightly dusted it over the entire eyepiece with a fluffy brush. And then, using an eyebrow pencil, I drew all the detailed parts of the eyepiece. Now with black water-activated face paint and a small detail brush, I carefully traced over everything that I drew. This requires a lot of patience, that's why this was the first thing that I did. To make it more realistic, I used a matte black eyeshadow to create texture on the metal eyepiece and also to put shadows on the small pieces, making them appear more 3D. And then, I'm gonna leave that eyepiece for a while and proceed to putting a skin hydrating and pore filling primer all over my face where there isn't any makeup. Using the same eyebrow pencil that I used earlier, I'm just going to draw guides on my face before putting blue water-activated face paint on the left and right side of my face, including the head and the ears. To apply this, I used a makeup sponge for large areas and switched up to a smaller brush for the hard-to-reach areas and edges. And then, I used an eyeliner to roughly sketch out the metal plates that Nebula had in her head before painting the center of my face with purple cream lipstick. And yes, you can use a cream lipstick on your face. Be resourceful. Use whatever makeup you have as long as it's safe for the skin. Once it's all dry and even, I used a makeup sponge and a matte purple eyeshadow to set the purple part of my face with a pressing motion. I also set the blue parts of my face using a different sponge and a matte blue eyeshadow. Now on the top head plate, similar to the metal eyepiece, I started by painting it white and then going over it with a silver face paint. Proceeding with the eyes, I started by just roughly going over the entire lid and lower lash line with a creamy black eyeshadow pencil and then just blended it to the skin, making sure it is evenly applied. I set that with a matte black eyeshadow and blended it outwards to create an illusion of a slightly bigger eye shape. And then, I lined my waterline with a black gel eyeliner. Leaving the eyes for a while, I used the same eyebrow pencil that I used a while ago and just sketched all the other lines on Nebula's face. I then went over everything with a black water-activated face paint and a small detailed brush. You'll notice that I also outlined the eyepiece and the head plate. Again, this requires a lot of patience and a steady hand, so take your time and rest your arms in between drawing lines. Now I just drew on my right brow as how I normally do it, but now using a dark blue eyeshadow. Now you'll see a slight difference between the purple on my skin and the purple on the bald cap. Don't worry, we can fix that later. But for now, to add depth on the purple area, I used a dark blue eyeshadow and blended it on the edges and also used that to contour my nose. I also used black eyeshadow to add more depth to these edges and lines. This will help make the look appear more three-dimensional.
At this point, you can already paint your neck the same way you painted the blue and the purple parts off your face. Let's not forget about adding texture on the metal plate of the head. You can use black eyeshadow and just randomly brush it all over for texture and dimension. Now I'm just doing the final details. After adding a line that I missed a while ago, I used a white face paint and painted it on the areas I want to appear more 3D. This will highlight the specific areas, adding a little bit of height to each part. I then popped on some fake lashes and corrected an even shade of purple by going over it with the same purple cream lipstick. Now some more fine details. I added more shadows on the eyepiece and added a little bit more mechanical parts just to make it more realistic. Last step, contours and highlight. I used a matte white eyeshadow to highlight the top of my nose, also the corners of my eyes and my cupid's bow, and contoured my jaw with black eyeshadow. All done! Nebulous makeup! <laughs>